other media will not do. Here is a Skype video call on the big show. Watch the live video at livestream.com slash Jiggy Jaguar. Or listen online at JiggyJaguar.com. Here is the rabble rousing ringleader, Ross Long and the Jigster. Thank you, Brother Ken. It's the world famous Jiggy Jaguar. You show doing the damn thing as always from JiggyJaguar.com. This segment of the world famous Jiggy Jaguar. You show brought to you by our good friends at Rock Viz Magazine. More than rock, more than entertainment, more than you expected. RockVizMagazine.com and um, Brian Rogers from the W, who is a contributing uh, person to Rock Viz Magazine and also a good close friend of mine, has a article in this month's issue. Also. Sherry Coke Cunningham's interview with King Shifter, Sprout and the Boys. And um, next month we're going to be having some more of our content from KJ Radio and the various uh, media entities involved in Rock This Magazine. However, let's go to the Skype, the skip as Chris Matthews would call it. Um, Dr. Diana Kirshner has been a guest on the Jiggy Jaguar experience in the past. She has a brand new um, deal dealing with Valentine's Day, even though we, we are past Valentine's Day. And as you know, Ross, you do not celebrate annual events on the, on calendar. the calendar. Dr. Diana Kirshner has a brand new book, um, Sealing the Deal, The Love Mentor's Guide to Lasting Love. <laughs> and look at that. Jess Moroa is walking into our studio there are only two radio programs that matter in this freaking town, and most of those, both of those teams are in the same building. It's like Mega Twins or Activate, whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, Dr. Diana Kirshner with us. What's going on, Doctor? How are you? I am having so much fun. I'm, this is this is fantastic. I love seeing you. Oh, <laughs> you know, we need to have you tell that to my ex-wife. We need to have you tell that to my ex-employers and um, things of that nature. Um, the biggest mistake that women make in love relationships is what, well, Dr. Diana? Well, it's the deal I talk about having these relationship killer beliefs. These are knee-jerk negative beliefs that kick in whenever anything goes south, like all men are jerks or um, no, I'll it's never have love because it's too difficult. And the, you know, the women, they go on a rant uh, in their minds about this and it really destroys, it really tanks them in the relationship. It tanks them in the relationship. It tanks their mood and it tanks the relationship. So you know, in other words, our message to women is don't hate all men. Just some well, of them. you know, you want to watch when you get on an inner rant in your mind that is a, a, a lot of a, a a negative talk, a lot of uh, negative talk, like love is too difficult. There's, there, you know, there's something wrong with me. I'll never have love, uh, you know. Yeah. And these n negative beliefs can just really uh, set off this Spiking whole rant that really, really will destroy things when here you really want to make things work. We have um, we have our guests in the next segment in the studio spiking their energy drinks with alcohol. I've never <laughs> seen that done before. That is the craziest <laughs> crap in the world. There's an upper and a downer. <laughs> an upper and a downer, yes. Uh. <laughs> we have uh, Dr. Diana Kirshner with us. She has been a uh, uh, frequent guest on the, on the podcast known as the Jiggy Jigwire Experience. And uh, the rabble rousing ringleader Ross Long in the building with his uh, with his uh, soup and his hat, as cousin Chris would say. I don't know what that means. Um, Dr. Diana Kirshner is here. How did how to seal the deal in any love relationship? And I love Dr. Diana Kirshner because if you notice on the skip, the Skype, whatever the hell it's called, <laughs> she has a book in the background. She has product placement, kids. She's in an office that's got a lot of books. I think she's on the set of Charlie Sheen's podcast from last evening. And, oh, um, you saw that, huh? She is, uh, she is there. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're all going to get fedoras and rip off Charlie Sheen. I think, well, you know, I th evidently it's working for him. It's very interesting. It's all working for him because, uh, I mean, he has the, so much press. It's, uh, 
You know, I mean, I, I not that I know the guy or have ever treated the guy, but he seems to be <laughs> using manic to good good effect. I you, think you, needs... you bring that up because Ross interviewed a dominatrix in Las Vegas who apparently was a client. Wow. 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 <laughs> well, anyway, uh, you know, he's really the opposite kind of person in terms of the way he's behaving now to what you want to to look for when you're thinking of sealing the deal. Um, you want to look for someone who uh, who is, meets three qualities. One, they're crazy about you. Two, they're willing to grow. And three, they're what I call meeting the basics, which means that they're a good, stable person who wants a long-term love relationship. Well, that's not me. I um, thought those kind of women went out with the uh, 19th century. You're talking pioneer <laughs> woman. Those men and those women still around now today. I want to see one, but uh, yeah, yes. I, well, you know, next show, I will bring one on with me. <laughs> you I will think... bring us women? Awesome. I'm booking you a hell of a lot. I think Charlie Sheen. I tell you, you know, the, the truth is, is that people can actually have long-term love. That's actually true. I think Charlie Sheen needs some uh, sessions with you, <laughs> <laughs> like like fifty. Uh, I don't think he would be interested in sessions with me because uh, he seems to be fine the way you know where he's at. Yeah, he's winning. He's, he's got he's got Brie Olsen. Olsen. Like at the edge of a cliff. I'm, I mean, I don't. Not that I uh, I'm saying that as a as a professional, but we'll see. Dr. Diana Kirshner with us today. How to seal the deal in any love relationship. The most, uh, tell us the single most important thing you can do to create a lasting, passionate love. I tell Money. you, uh, the single most important thing you can do is to act like you're having an affair with your partner. Rather, you've been together like, uh, you know, eight months, a year, five years. Think to yourself, what would I be doing and saying if I was having an affair with this person? You know, off come the sweats, on come the uh, the sexy clothes. You're talking about sexy texts. You're talking about meeting during the daytime, at maybe you know, uh, at a uh, for a drink or at a hotel or motel. Um, what what would I be doing or saying if I was having an affair with this person? Might, it changes might, the whole dynamic. Might that include like uh, use of a uh, Wonder Woman outfit? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. all kinds of outfits. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we reference, uh, there is a local rap artist here in Salina by the name of Mr. SC, and yes. uh, we reference his sister all the time on this broadcast because Ross would like to put her in a Wonder Woman outfit. I see. Um, well, you should come on the show and wear the Wonder Woman outfit. <laughs> Oh, that would be although, one for the although, archives. Although, at one point, didn't she want to put Jessica Lewis in a Wonder Woman outfit? Um, uh, she's got enough appeal, right? It, with I don't know. We, we, we could try I, that. It's odd. I think there's enough Wonder Woman outfits around that you could put a lot of women in them. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Dr. Diana Kirshner with us today. The key secrets to having a very successful, quote-unquote, talk and the best time of day to approach him is what? Well, uh, you know, one of the key secrets is to be patient because the average length of time from the beginning of dating to actually getting engaged is, is just under three years. And a lot of women, they get very impatient. They go out with a guy for a few months and they're already thinking they want the wedding ring, they want the proposal. That's how I ended up getting married. The, so, you know, so it's very important to be patient. And number two, a really good time to approach a guy, if you really have to have a serious talk, is around the late afternoon because that's when the testosterone levels are a little lower. Okay. Ross, you got anything there, brother? <laughs> are you just sitting there? There's only two creatures that have a prostate, men and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what what does that, that mean? Okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Dr. Diana Kirshner with us today. How to seal the deal in any love relationship. She has the book prominently displayed on Skype, kids. Um, in the back look, and sometimes in the foreground, too. Yes. We, we, love, we, we love this. Um, the seven real laws of attraction and how to become in, in, inter... I don't know. Irresistible. I, that's it. 
I've, irresistible. I've said it many times on this you know, broadcast. I'm half idiot and half Jamaican. Actually, not really half Jamaican, just full idiot. So I, I tell you, you know, uh, the the thing about it is, is that women all feel that they have to be super thin or they have to be super young or super sexy to be irresistibly attractive. But in sealing the deal, I talk about the they real truth is that if you ask a guy why he's with a woman in a long-term relationship, what he almost always says is because I Apparently feel good GM around her. I, I feel good around her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, so the, the seven laws that when I talk about as the seven laws in sealing the deal have to do with what is that? What is that quality of feeling good around someone? It starts with actually having fun. You know, in the beginning, you fall in love. Why? Because you're having fun. You're horsing around in the pool. You're, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're canoodling in the movies. Uh, then what happens Canoodling. is I haven't heard that term fun. in a hell of a long time. That's all. That, <laughs> that, that, that sounds like something Dustin would come over and say. Boston. We'll, we'll he would come over and say uh, broads and things of that nature. So. Well, you I tell you, the you know, I, the thing is, is that it's about having fun. And what happens is even if you're dating for, you know, let's say you're dating for six months or so, you get out, you get into a rote autopilot thing, you know, okay, I'm going to see you on Friday, we're going to go to the movies, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. It gets They're very boring. The fun not... actually is gone. You have to think to go back to what you used to do to have fun and also create new new things that are really exciting. And um, uh, even doing things like playing video games together is very stimulating, very exciting. Or um, you know, going to um, uh, 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 an amusement park type thing. Uh, you know, just shake, just changing. What about up. going to a strip club with with your uh, with your woman? <laughs> That's becoming well, very actually, popular. You know, what you want to do is do a little role play and a little uh, a little role play together. Is is part of that? Oh, so whole what? You give her the money. The How does that change from? The... What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I was saying, what, you role play as she's the stripper and you give her the money. Yeah. But I'm thinking, well, yeah. isn't that what you already do, give her the money? How is that different? Well, I'll tell you, there's a heck of a lot more fun when you're doing it as a role play. <laughs> more knowledge than Dr. Ruth, and fun. we can even understand her. Uh, I mean, it's... it's, it's <laughs> well, um... Uh, tell us a little bit more about this book. Where can we pick it up? Uh, all that. Okay, fun well, it's and fun uh, stuff. sealing the deal. Um, it's uh, it's been. I mean, the so many people are going going crazy about this book. John Gray, um, Dr. Christiane Northrup, uh, Ariel Ford, all the people who uh, really are into uh, self help and 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 relationships have said, you know that they really, really understand that this is a breakthrough book in terms I of showing it. you exactly how to deepen any relationship, no matter what, whether you've been dating on and off for 10 years or ma even married. And um, it's available at Amazon. And, of course, uh, any, uh, any of the bookstores around will have it. And um, you're welcome to come to my website, lovein90days.com. That's not the name of the book. The name of the website is different. It's lovein90days.com. And I have lots of gifts for folks who pick up this book right now because it just got released. Now, uh... You need to be on Dr. Phil. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're, we're putting a shout out. Dr. Phil's producer. Bring that this... would be cool. I was on the Today Show and um, Hoda and Kathy Lee were going crazy about the book. Um, and um, I, you know, would love to do Dr. Phil's show also, but of course he can't hold a candle to your show. I don't know about that. A plug from a professional, <laughs> that's dangerous. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you Let might. Let me tell you that, you know, uh, it's so much more real to be able to do it uh, the way we're doing it than, than on broadcast. Broadcast is so scripted. Well, Agreed. This show is not scripted. <laughs> oh no! Good <laughs> God in heaven! Now, uh, we'll the archives, yes. now, uh, <laughs> now, 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 Doctor. Um, as we wrap up here, um, yeah. we had a, a a medical professional. Actually, she was a dietitian. Um, do do a little ditty for our uh, for our show. We, we have these uh, rappers. They're named Beast Mode. 
and they're out of um, Junction City, and they often have they often refer to different things, and then they they of course do like most hip hop artists, and that's ask the penal system to release different people, free this, free that. Would I possibly be able to get you to do a free my mama for us before we let you go? Your mama needs to be freed from something. <laughs> free, free your mama? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> now, uh, Dr. Diana, I, I appreciate you. To free your mama. <laughs> yes. I, I appreciate it. Thank you for doing this. We're going to have you back, and uh, we'll chat soon, my friend. Take care. Have take, fun. Take care. Have a good day. It. Now, uh, Dr. Diana Kirshner, if you wanna you you wanna pick up her book, go to the website. All that fun fun stuff. Um, as you can tell in the background during this call, this Skype call, we had my phone ringing, my cellular telephone. Oh uh, God, yes. Our our affiliate at K Rocks Radio in Casper, Wyoming, made this promo recently. As we go to break. Here it is. Check out more on this podcast. We don't even get to it because they're going to ring the other phone. Jiggy Jaguar, your show. You are on the air. What can I do for you? Well, good, Jag. It's Ryan, though. How you been, man? <laughs> hey, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> man, I've been doing it, man. We're on air right now, see? <laughs> Um, shit, man, I've been doing a lot of work, Jig, you know what I mean? I was just trying to call in and get with you. I'm glad I could be a part of the show, you know? How you doing, I love man? it. Hey, when, when, when can we get you in studio, brother? I would love to have you chat with us. Man, I need to come up there probably next week or something, for, for real, for real, man, to tell you the truth, because I've been doing a lot of work, brother. <laughs> like I say, like I say, like I say. A lot of work. Well, uh, email me, and, and we'll get it worked out. You got my email address, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, All right, brother. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and plug real quick. We got a video coming out real soon, you know what I mean? We got a lot of stuff about to drop on iTunes real soon, you know? We got Kansas Chief about to drop some stuff. John Keenan about to drop some stuff. I told you, Jig, we was on the move, man. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, brother. Hit me up, and maybe we'll get you on next week. All right, Matt, that's what it is. All right, brother, All right. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. And Drunken black and guy, that I is, told that you. Is the qu but you get those calls 24 hours, hours a day. day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I mean, so it's really no different now, but it just happens to happen. You know, it's always the same. Hey, it always I is. My mixtape. <laughs> I got my mixtape, man. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick time out. We're gonna talk to our our broadcast brethren here in Salina. Chad Allen? No, oh, Chad uh, Allen is not sitting on the couch. Believe me, Chad Allen nor anybody from Salina Media Group would be on our couch. Um, we're gonna take a quick little time out. When we come back, we will chat with these two fine gentlemen about their fine, fine little radio broadcast. Actually, not so little. I've been hearing a lot of buzz. They get a lot of buzz in England. England? We, England. England. Not Germany. Germany? Germany. Uh, we're or gonna take Canada. A, or Canada, yes, indeed. We're going to take a quick little time out when we come back. We will do that. And uh, if you're watching us on live stream, just keep it there. We'll be back in mere moments. Check us out at JiggyJaguar.com.